Hey YouTubers, doing a phone comparison here. Um, all of these phones I have used for at least a month and as you can see they uh, they have some use on them. Um, obviously the screens are not perfectly new and I'm not going to pretend that this is you know a uh, new review of a, a, a phone I've used so <laughs> um, yeah, in the title, it'll probably say uh, one month, um, though some of these I've used longer than that, but at least a minimum of a month on each phone. All right, so let's get started. Um, on the right side, we have possibly the uh, currently still the most expensive of these three. That's the LG V20. In the middle, the LG Stylo 4, and then the... Um, there's different variations of the Samsung J7 uh, Sky Pro or Prime. We're not going to spend too much time talking about it. I just wanted to um, bring that one in here for a comparison in case you possibly own it or you um, are thinking of upgrading. And uh, this, you know, real quick, this phone, uh, nothing super spectacular about it. Five and a half inch screen. It's a uh, 720p, um, which is between DVD quality and Blu-ray quality screen. And uh, it has very weak cameras in it. Um, nothing spectacular there for front and rear facing. Uh, overall, the fact... Uh, Beyond it being a Samsung, which it's a good quality phone, it doesn't have any of the same uh, cool gadgets that these other guys have. Alright, so let's uh, push this one to the side. Now, let's talk the technical specs of these two. And even though I won't get that to stay on for very long, at least we can uh, get a look at them. Oop. All right, so um, let's talk about the the screen first. While well, I've got it lit up, and then I'll uh, I'll let it go black again. So your LG Stylo Four, which came out in 2018, has a 6.2 inch screen. It's 1080 by 2160, so slightly more pixels than you would expect from a uh, Blu-ray uh, or HDX if uh, you follow that terminology. Your LG V20 has a 5.7 inch screen, um, but it has higher resolution. It's got 1440 by 2160 or 2560 uh, pixels. And it also has a second screen up here, which will display different little gizmos. Um, nothing, you know, super spectacular, but uh, when you're watching a video or something, you can see the time and other things, so it's kind of kind of a nice feature, if you ask me, um, because I hate when I have to pause a movie or try and get out of it to see what the time is. On the negative, it does provide additional light, uh, which isn't such a great thing. Now, so we've talked about the screen uh, performance-wise. This has a newer octa-core um, processor in it, where this has the quad-core. This guy has four gigs of RAM, and this has two gigs. So, honestly, I don't really notice a difference. I know, you know, people run those uh, user bench user marks, which I do for the CPUs on uh, computers, but uh, didn't do it for this. Um, Now, the uh, battery life of these guys, from what I've seen, very similar. This does support fast charging and has the, uh, they both have the USB-C uh, charger on them, which, you know, is good for that aspect, but if you're like me and you have the other charger that every phone has and you have tons of them, um, it's kind of annoying <laughs> that you only have uh, uh, one or two of those lying around. All right, 
Now, uh, speaker-wise, these, these have pretty good speakers on them. Um, I think the V20 sounds better, honestly. It records HD quality um, sound, and this this will record sound, but not quite as uh, not quite as good. Let's see. Uh, on the back, we'll come back to the front again. They both have the touch sensor, which is really nice. It'll do left and right uh, finger, and uh, you can see you know quite a bit of wear. This one is holding up better wear wise where this this is just kind of a really I don't know we'll call it a cheap plastic it really takes away from the phone uh, the fact that, that one's scratching up so bad where this is uh, I believe some type of aluminum um, this one is uh, to access your your micro SD card and your uh, SIM card is right here on the left side and you need a little paper clip to get that open so we're not going to do that in this video I'll probably do a video later what the hell I do so many videos where I um, go ahead and um, change that out alright sorry so on this phone um, all that stuff is behind the cover and you have to hit this little button here which is kind of a nice thing um, that will pop that out of there and you will be able to access your micro SD card as well as if you had to change out the battery so uh, otherwise let's see what other technical specs should we talk about folks um, oh I personally weighed these the LG Stylo 4 weighs 6.1 ounces and this weighs 6.2 now cost wise it depends on the carrier and uh, whether you want it locked unlocked uh, I've seen these if you're a Metro PCS owner you could get these new on eBay for probably about uh, 160 160 180 brand new and then I think honestly on Amazon a new one uh, unlocked is somewhere around 200 to 250 don't quote me on that though do you have to do your own research I'll probably I'll put a link in here to Amazon this guy is still available um, whoop. it cost uh, more than the, the Moto 4 but you get a lot more out of it uh, if I had a V30, you know, hands down, that one would uh, destroy both of these phones. Um, but uh, I say destroy. It actually has only slight improvements over the V20. Um, now, video recording capability. You have the, the front-facing uh, 5 megapixels in each one of these. Nothing super spectacular about it. I did find the selfies are actually pretty good with these cameras, so that's kind of a nice thing. The uh, video recorder, though, the best this can do is 1920 by 1080, so basically Blu-ray quality, um, and it doesn't seem half bad. I'll do a, I'll probably do a video where I actually uh, compare a bunch of phones and do their highest resolutions and record some video. This guy here is capable of what this one can do, and that was 30 frames per second. This one will uh, turn it up a little and do 4K. Uh, it'll do 3840 by 2160 at 30 frames per second. And it, it appears to honestly be better quality than the Samsung S5 I have. Um, and we have an S7 here. So I might just compare all three of those because I don't have an S8 or an S9. Um, now, the big thing about the V30 is that it would have, um, it would do 4K, but at 60 frames per second. So that is pretty freaking awesome. It takes up a lot of space. Um, those files are going to be humongous. And if you're doing YouTube videos, it's going to take you forever to upload. However, doing uh, slow mo, um, not super slow mo, but slow mo, the uh, video will look smoother. So that is pretty cool. I've got this hummingbird outside that I would really 
like to get some good slow-mo videos of, but uh, 30 frames per second just really doesn't cut it. Um, so something closer to uh, probably 120, 180, 240, you know, something like that would be even better than uh, what I'm getting. You know, so these both have the, the same basic crap on them. Um, the phone, the messaging, all, all works the same. The way the buttons are uh, down at the bottom of each screen is the same. Uh, it's not like they came with any super special uh, apps on them. And then, uh, you know, this one though, for uh, its wider angle of picture taking is, uh, is pretty nice. Um, this one, you know, um, I believe the, uh, but this is 13 megapixel, uh, for camera and this is 16. So you can just imagine it's improved. The LGs that I've had in the past, the Stylo 3, and when it said it was 13 megapixel in the Fiesta, uh, I did not really think that the, the pictures were necessarily that great compared to um, the Samsung um, ones that I've had, the higher end Samsungs. So it was kind of one of those things where, you know, just, I don't know, they, uh, they say one thing and, uh, you know, to put that number on it to make it look more impressive, but it just does not look as good. Now in this case, this camera takes really good pictures. Uh, and I will, I will do a, uh, in the comparison, we will also do very high res photos, uh, low light and, uh, outdoors and get those in comparison. All right. So that about is going to wrap this up except for one little thing. So if you're buying this phone, um, and you are a uh, male, um, I will say that uh, they fit decently in the old front pockets of, of, your, um, of your shorts. So if you can see that, which you may not be able to, I've got my Under Armour uh, shorts on uh, and that's fitting in there pretty good. And then this was the uh, the LG Stylo 4. It fits pretty good in there. Uh, so that is nice. Now, for others, like females that wear, let's say, that we're in Daisy Dukes, um, that thing's gonna stick out there quite a bit. That's the Stylo 4. There is your V20, and the V30 is even bigger. Uh, so they stick out quite a bit in the back pocket. Um, so you definitely probably, if you're a female, if you get this, you'd want to wear, put it in your purse and have a case on it. That's without even a case. Uh, you see how... Well, sorry. I'm not even sure you guys picked that up on the video. That's the front pocket. So you see they stick out really bad in the front pocket of these. Um, let me do the back just in case nobody caught that. The V20 on the right. So that guy's sticking out quite a bit. And then your Moto 4. So they stick out about the same. So this is definitely, if you're a really small female, probably not a good idea for reference. Here's the Samsung J7. Doesn't quite stick out as bad. All right, so female, probably not a good phone to get. Here is a uh, uh, youth, let's see, what size are these? Youth large, so this is a, either a young teenager or a, uh, older child. And if you were to stick that in the pocket there, um, it actually doesn't sit quite all the way down in there um, so that if they were to sit down there's a good chance the phone would probably fall out of these so that is uh, not such a good thing I don't think either one of these phones is probably good for younger kids now gaming wise um, that is probably what going to be why a kid might want to have a phone like this um, because if you give them something like this J7, they're going to whine about it. 
kids are smart they'll figure out what's faster 